Do you know how much water you need to lose weight? In this video, I'm going to go over the importance of water and how much water you need to exactly lose weight. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you my five best tips on how to start drinking the right amount of water every day. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Joey Mendy. Uh, I'm here to help you look better, feel better, and get stronger. I've been a personal trainer for three years, and I've been in health and fitness for over seven. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you'll know when I post, and let's get back to the video. So why is water important to your health and fitness goals? It has so many functions in the body, like building the muscles, the cells, and the skin. Water is a solvent, so it helps, it helps dissolve fat, acid, and the waste products in your body. So every movement and function of the body requires water, like the heart pumping blood or the body digesting food. Water is a carrier for nutrients and waste products. Just like when it brings blood to your muscles, it can also take lactic acid out of your muscles after you're done working out. What also makes it important is that it's a lubricant and a shock absorber for your joints and ligaments, meaning you'll have usually less pain or less stiffness when you start working out or when you start moving again. Another important fact is your muscles, your brain, your heart, your kidneys, your lungs are all 75 to 85% water. So if you're not giving your body water, you're not giving those water. So muscle building or protein synthesis as it's known is slowed down as soon as you're mildly dehydrated because muscle synthesis is very sensitive to the amount of water that you drink. It's also proven uh, in many studies that your strength and your endurance goes down the more and more dehydrated you become. And there's a huge correlation with being overweight and being dehydrated by a lot because when you are dehydrated, you're more insulin resistant, which is a video that I made about before, which you can check up here if you wanna learn more about that. So if you're not drinking water or if you barely drink water, you're not getting any of these benefits that I was talking about and you probably have some of the problems that come with being dehydrated. Now things that affect your water intake are things like climate, so if you live in a warmer place, um, your diet, and as well as your physical activity. So if you work out a lot more, you're gonna need to drink more water because you're sweating, secreting water, getting rid of it. So how much water do you need to drink to lose weight? Well, the average sedentary adult needs to drink between two and 2.5 liters which is between 67 ounces and 85 ounces. So there are three ways to get water. Number one is by drinking the water. That's going to be between 85 and 90% of the water that you get every day. Uh, number two is going to be the food that you eat. Now the food that you eat, some, sometimes the water can, sometimes there can be a lot of water in there. Sometimes there cannot. It just depends on which fruit that you're eating. And number three is the macronutrients, the proteins, the carbs, and the fats. They all have a little bit of water in there, so your body turns that into water inside of the kidneys. There are three ways to lose water. Number one is through the kidneys, which causes you to pee. Number two is through the sweat glands, which happens when your body gets too hot. And number three is your respiratory tract. So every time you breathe, you're also releasing some water in there too. Meaning that the sedentary adult loses between two to three liters or 67 to 100 ounces per day, depending on the climate, uh, the relative humidity, and the physical activity as well. When exercising in a hot environment, you can lose up to one to two liters or 33 to 67 ounces per hour. So if you're working out for one hour, that could be a massive amount of water loss. If you're working out for even longer, it could be even more. Mild dehydration can cause impaired cognitive functions as well as your exercise endurance and even your alertness or your reaction. Okay, so here are the five best tips to start drinking water the right amount today. So tip number one is not to have such a big jump in the amount of water you drink every day because your kidney will just try to balance that out by making you pee more. Now what I do suggest is doing 12 to 16 ounces every week by increasing that amount and then keep on going until your pee is either very clear or a very light tint for a whole week. Now why a whole week is a reason because some days you're going to drink enough water, some days you're not going to drink enough water. So if you do it for a whole week, you'll get a very, very rough estimate about how much water you actually need to drink 
to be hydrated. And tip number two is if you don't like the taste of water, you don't have to just have water. You can put a slice of lemon in there. You can put a slice of lime in there. I, you, I even recommend to add either pink Himalayan salt, just a pinch, or a pinch of sea salt. That will add a little bit of flavor to the water and give you more uh, refreshness and even uh, macronutrients in there as well. And tip number three is switch that cup of coffee or that soda that you have during lunch with another cup of water. Uh, number one, you're going to lower your sugar intake, which is awesome. And number two is you get to add another cup of water without really putting effort into it. And number four is don't drink so much water to where you have to pee every hour. Remember, that's not healthy either because your kidney is trying to keep your blood balanced with the amount of water that you have in there. And number five, if you're fasting, I highly suggest you to put a pinch of salt in your water because you're not gonna get salt from the food because you're obviously not gonna be eating any food. And sodium is super important for your brain and your nervous system and everything else like that. So put salt in your water. All right, so comment below what tips or tips was the most helpful in this video. And if you have any extra tips for anybody else struggling drinking enough water. All right, thank you for watching. Don't, for, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and comment on the video. And don't forget that I'm here to help you look better, feel better, and get stronger. I will see you guys next video. Have a good day.